Everyone, I want you to say hi to the pen dog. Okay, I have to make a video now, pen dog. Thank you, pen dog, you're a wonderful companion. But pen dog, go make videos now. Today's video is gonna be on the craziest, most insane deck that I've ever dueled against. And this deck's insane. It's not Pendulum, it's not Meta, it's not Elit, it's a deck that I've never seen in my life and it blew me away. So if you guys are ready for this video, I want you guys to smash the subscribe button, I want you guys to smash the like button, and I want everyone to do me a favor and to go on TriffGaming.com and check out the very beautiful Joker Kieran Double Iris play mats. There's only four left in stock until it's gone, so get it ASAP, boys. And with that being said, it's time, baby! It's time to check out the most insane deck that I have ever built again. Let's go, baby. It's time for the best deck versus the craziest deck. Let's go! <laughs> I'm telling you guys, this deck is going to blow your mind. Like, this is probably the number one craziest deck that I've ever dueled against. I make some crazy decks, but this deck goes insane. So anyways, let's get straight into this video. Uh, of course, guys, smash the sub button, smash the like button, and let's do this, boys. Pendulum versus crazy deck. So you guys will see right now how it goes. Obviously, I'm playing the best deck here. I'm playing the best deck. Look at my hand, bro. It might seem bad to you, but it is not. This hand is broken. I'm going to show you exactly why. I'm going to fast forward this whole way through because I'm going to destroy him. I'm going to pendulum one. You guys see this play right here? Who pendulums one card? I literally pendulum one chronograph sorcerer. This might look bad, but you're going to see exactly what this actually does. So I'm just going to fast forward my way. You guys are going to have amazing gameplay as well. Not only are you going to see the probably the craziest Yu-Gi-Oh deck I've ever seen in my life, but you are also going to see the best Yu-Gi-Oh deck you've ever seen in your life, baby. Let's go. So I'm gonna show you guys the gameplay as well as the most insane deck. So here I'm gonna go into Servant and Jackal. I'm gonna do a very big brain thinking here. I could have gone Abductor. If I went Abductor here, I had the most amazing turn, the most amazing end board. I would have ended up with Souls Restage drawing like 500 Souls Send Restage and Metal Falls Fusion. But I wanna play safe in this scenario. In this scenario, things aren't looking too good for me. Uh, because I don't have many negates up, right? I, I have Pendulum 1 Chrono. I'd rather play it safe to ensure at the very least I'm gonna get Jackal, Master, and Right Hand. So I just want to play it safe. So his hand traps don't affect me at this point. I'm gonna Mighty Master, and I'm gonna pop the restage before I desires. I'm doing this just to ensure that I have enough counters to protect me from Nibiru, and on top of that, to ensure that I get Right Hand, and on top of that, that I get a follow-up draw of Metal Pulse Fusion, and on top of that, the draws from Desires. So I'm going to end up here with three negates, uh, a little more. I ended up, uh, I believe what happened here was uh, I was made the stupidest mistake ever. Uh, my whole intention was Muddy Master popped the right hand uh, before I desires to search the right hand. But like an absolute moron, I forgot to add the right hand. I, like an absolute idiot, I forgot to add the right hand. I didn't want to, like we're playing on Raided, so I didn't want to take a play back. So even the Pen God forgets sometimes. Uh, so this is a show goes to show you guys have to remember. So my actual board should have been a right hand, and I would end up with four negates while pendulum only one chronograph. It was supposed to be one jackal, one master, one reflection, and one right hand. But like an idiot, I forgot it. So we're gonna have to move on with no right hand. Anyways, you guys are gonna witness something right here. One for one, you will like just before you see what one for one sends. What do you think it's about to send? Like this deck, none of you in the world will even think of what this deck is. And when I read this card, I actually lost, I, I lost my mind. I couldn't believe how insane this card was. Anyways, he's going to one for one right here, sending super ancient deep sea king Cole again. What the heck is this card, bro? Do super ancient deep sea king Cole cat, bro. This card is insane. For those who don't know what this card does, which is me, after I read this card, listen to this. Once per turn, you can discard one card. Okay, special summon as many level four or lower fish monsters from your deck as possible. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? What? Like, he can literally fill his whole field with fish monsters. And the most insane thing about this entire card, like, it'll blow your mind. It's not once per turn. It's not like a hard once per turn. Nowhere on this card does it say, once per turn, once per super king, king, Kong, call, Kant, whatever this card is called, is it once per turn? 
You could like reborn this card with Dugaris. Like, do you understand the it, power of this crazy deck? Just stay tuned to the end of the video. You guys are gonna see exactly what I'm talking about. Like, what? That's ridiculous. That's insane. So here I'm gonna negate the one for one with Mighty Master, and he goes to Red Eyes Fusion. I'm like, bro, I am missing right now. This second, I am missing my right hand very badly. He knows that he can't get this out. One for one is a one card combo, by the way, that gets this card out. But you guys will see later. Uh, anyways, he goes to Red Eyes Fusion here. And I'm like, man, I just, I, I screwed up. And clearly I was a little out of it in this duel because not only do I misplay by forgetting the right hand, but for no reason whatsoever, I special reflection of Endymion. He cannot attack my Selene because I have Mighty Master and Selene, Servant in the field. So I just lost my reflection for nothing. But it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to patch him here and kill him. So that was game one where I won. I got a little dose of the most insane deck. And now you guys are going to see, you guys know I don't play hand traps. You guys know this. You guys know that I don't play hand traps. Uh, he's going first, so now you're going to witness how crazy this deck is. Uh, literally, all these cards are one-card starters, uh, and you have a lot of extenders like this as well. I believe a rank 4 also does it. He just goes Summoner Monk, and you're going to see right here. So he goes Summoner Monk, and he's really going to take advantage of the fact that I don't play any hand traps. He brings this card out, which makes this whole possible. This card says when this card is summoned, you can send one fish monster from your deck to the grave, right? That's where you send this, and you just do Gari special this card back. That is ridiculous, and now you guys are going to see the power of this card. Probably the most insane duel slash most insane deck I've ever seen in my life. You're going to go Super Ancient here. Effect, discard, special four fish. Are you kidding me, bro? Like, are you kidding me? And now not only, he's going to have a fun time here. He's going to have to free up space on his monster zones because he's going to keep on going, and he's going to summon even more Super Ancient Call Accounts and use this even more times. So I have to, uh, he has to free space. What he does here is the Omega to clear space. In my mind, I'm like, I'm all good. I got Dark Ruler in my hand, Mastery, and Allure. This guy is fucked. It's game over. I win easily. I just need him not to hit my Dark Ruler. It's only a 20% chance. Uh, and he hits my Dark Ruler, of course. Like, what can you do, bro? What can you do, man? Unfortunate. Here he goes into Mascarena. And uh, his next play here, he's going to go into this card, which I've never seen in my life, too. Uh, White Aura Monsos or something. Uh, effect of this... Of course, of course, bro. Special another Supreme King Call Can. Bro, again, man. He makes Verde to free up space. Uh, at this moment, I recognize that he can't even go Verde, okay? He, he went Mascarena and uh, the Modern Sauce into uh, Anaconda. But, like, you can't do that, bro. Like, Verde, it says... Oh, wait, you could do that. I'm just stupid. I thought this had the same uh, uh, issue like Mascarena. I'm just stupid. Don't worry about me. I, I thought it had the same condition as Mascarena. But anyways, uh, he, he does, does create space and just pendulum specials everything again. How insane is this, bro? Like, you're summoning all these cards for free. And if you were to hard draw these cards, Princess is insane. This card specials any fish for free. This card is a Foolish Burial for all fish. And on top of the Foolish Burial, it's a free uh, draw one as well. And it's actually insane. He's just going to go off here. He goes Bahamut Shark. And the fact that they're all fish slash water, because all fish are from the water, he summons Toad as well. So not only am I going to have to deal with all this bullshit, but I lost a Dark Ruler in my hand. I have to deal with fucking Totally Awesome and Dragoon and some other shit that's going to go down. He plays a second Mascarena. He literally plays a second Mascarena just to free space. That's how insane this deck is. And here we go. I'm going to have to deal with all this. And you know what? I'm up to the task. He's going to draw with the card in his graveyard, which allows him to draw at the end. So not only do you get the big board, not only do you get the Omega to get rid of my Dark Ruler, but he also draws it then for a follow-up. So let's see how I can do this. He sets a card. I'm like, you know what? That's okay. That's okay. Because uh, I'm playing the best deck. So maybe I can still beat this. I'm going to go into uh, uh, Anima here. This shows how every now and then relinquish Anima. Uh, either people are going to have insane boards or people just forget what Anima does. Uh, unfortunately for me, he didn't put Toad or Mascarena there. So I just put Anima. Uh, this is going to beta negate. Because if he doesn't negate it, I could just enter, take this, enter battle attack. Uh, he uses your going. I'm like, okay, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, so that's gone. So all I got to deal with now is Masquerade and totally awesome. And I have four incredible Yu-Gi-Oh cards, probably the best in history. He negates the, uh, that. And I'm like, that's okay. That's okay. I have three cards left. I am a-okay. He only has one Masquerade left. So things are looking good. I go a lore. I end up drawing into Desires and Into the Void. I'm like, we're lit. We're good. I draw another Jester, unfortunate. That's fine. Desires. Things are looking good. Give me a scale and we probably win this duel here. And I end up drawing Lava Golem, bro. <laughs> Lava Golem a little late, man. 
Lava Golem came just a little late, bro. So that's very unfortunate. I had I should have drawn to this before, so I could have stopped everything. I secret into knowledge, so I can't normal summon. I go Jester to draw two here, and unfortunately, these cards came a little late. I can't normal summon, and I should have. This is a, a, a mistake that I learned myself. I should have drawn right away, like before I even played anything. I should have just drawn. Like forget mastery, forget any spell counters. I should have just drawn, 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 drawn until I found I I drew into a Lava Golem or Sphere mode. So I'm going to learn my lesson. They're going to go into game three now. His deck's insane. And honestly, you guys have still seen nothing yet. Like, this deck blew my mind. So here I go first. We get some more beautiful Pendulum gameplay. Where I'm going to go Blue Boy. I'm going to draw as much as I can. Souls. And this is my, my uh, draw, version that draws a lot, which I think is extremely powerful. Uh, you have like 14 draw cards in this deck. Very good for going second to draw into your Lava Golems, unless it's a little late like the last time. But I'm just going to keep drawing here. I draw probably 15 times in this turn. I'm not even... I, I, I shit you not. I go goods here to send Restage to add right hand. That's another gigantic upside of Foolish Burial Goods. Going first now, post side deck, you don't need to be scared of Dark Ruler or any card like that. You don't need to be scared of that because you use Foolish Burial Goods to send the Restage to add the right hand. So I'm going to give you guys a peek at his hand right now, okay? Look at this fucking hand. Lightning Storm, evenly, evenly, Summoner Monk. I'm literally fucked, bro. I don't know he has Lightning Storm double evenly and it's Summoner Monk's a one card combo. Summoner Monk gives him his full combo and OTK. So he literally drew the most broken hand ever. All he needs to ensure is that I don't put up three spell trap negates. I don't know that he has this, bro. I need to stop three spell and trap negates. Then he has a one card combo that puts 40 monsters on the field. His deck is actually crazy. Like, I need to stop this now. I, I need to put up a bunch of negates. If I didn't play Foolish Burial Goods, I was not getting restage and I was not getting right hand. I could have sent uh, Metal Pulse Fusion to draw if I wanted to, but I need to ensure full side that I get the right hand before I desires. So next, I'm going to go into Selene here and I'm going to, of course, get Selene here, Special Jackal. Abductor is going to add a Servant. Now here's where I do something very big brain, massive big brain play. So if they did not Ash Blossom my knowledge, if they did not do or Ash Blossom my Abductor, they have no Ash Blossom. It's just the fact. I have a Jackal on top on the field. So when you have a Spell Power Mastery and an Abductor, sometimes the best play is not to go Mastery, Add, Endemian, Mighty Master. Sometimes this is not the best play. For any Pendulum player, again, stay tuned to the end. You need to learn this. Abductor is sometimes the best place to search Servant. Everyone knows that they have opposite scales, right? Everyone knows uh, that they're the same low scale. They're low scales, bro. They're both low scales. But what are they doing in the thing? Well, what this does, it puts two counters on a Servant. So of course you're going to Mastery now. Instead of using Mastery to search the Mighty Master, as you are going to anyways, you now use the two counters from the Abductor, uh, from the Mastery. Instead of putting it on the Abductor, you put the extra counter on the Servant of Endymion in the scale. So Abductor actually searches Servant when you have enough spell cards like this. Spell counters, spells, everything. So now not only do we get two counters on the Servant from the Mastery, but on top of that, we have Right Hand. So we can even get out... We can get out our other card that we're going to need because this Mighty Master is going to ensure that we have like four spell trap negates because of Vortex because it gives us the other level seven we're missing. Here we're going to desire this for fun. We're probably not even going to pen summon anything we get. We don't need anything else at this point. We get Chronograph for Mighty Master and a dead spell power mastery. But we're in a great position here, obviously. I go into Mascarena. I just linked into Mascarena and Pendulum Summon one from Extra Deck, one from Hand. There was no reason to summon this Chrono. It'll just uh, take up space for me. I go Absolute Crossy Vortex. I don't know his deck very well. I, I know that he had a lot of level fours. I, I want to make sure I had something just in case for Zeus. And this is his hand. His hand is absolutely bonkers, bro. It has a bunch of one card starters. And not only does he have double evenly lightning storm, but he literally has summoner monk and one for one. Like this is full combo. If I don't stop him right here, like if I don't like what, how many decks do you know can stop double evenly lightning storm? And you have two one card starters. That's actually insane. So he goes lightning storm. And I'm scared of Dark Ruler, so I go Mighty Master off the bat. So this deck, my deck is so insane that it literally defeats Dark Ruler, Lightning Storm, evenly, evenly. That's how insane my deck is. I, of course, want to save the right hand. But now that he, he's entering battle phase, of course, I Selene right after this. I only have two left. So here, I'm going to negate the evenly. <laughs> negate the evenly. I'm like, oh my god. Does he have a third? And he does not. I. This is how crazy pendulums are, bro. You stop lightning evenly, evenly, and I could still stop a spell. So even if I just had Jackal, this, even if he activates one for one, right hand will negate it. And I had one left, and it was just enough. I had that one extra negate, and it was just enough to seal the deal. And even if it was main phase two, and I was scared of another spell, you can Mascarena Selene into another Selene, and then put a Selene over, over here, right over here. 
in the right monster zone and then special the mighty master from hand then you have like five spell trap negates it's a very cool trick anyways this deck this guy's playing roger this deck's insane i'm a big fan of this deck and it really surprised me how such a random deck like king cola kind of turbo could do such damage especially against the meta where if you have lightning sort of evenly if you draw two of these and one of your like 10 card one card starters you get to spam 40 monsters on the field for free. So for anyone out there that likes water decks, you should check this one out. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it was a pleasure dueling against this guy. And if you guys like what you see, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!